we get the picks on the way and again these, these teams really, really just thinking about what they want to grab taking some time getting themselves hyped up and ready to go because this is the last game of the Prepare day for, battle. for one of these squads the other will move on and play up against dc if i had to give my odds i'd say i'd like the complexity draft more so maybe 60 40 complexity maybe 70 30. Though they do have an enchantress for Mu, but uh, he played one of his favorite heroes in the slaughter and got crushed last time. What they needed to do is keep this camp ready to go and, and make sure that this is this is good. This this is good, all right? You don't want this camp going away. All right, if you were there, that camp's bad. The, if the other team was there. Swindle will lead the way with his boar slow. Oh, coming through. The slow, of course, at this level is 10%, so it's not that great, but it's still something. Hanskin's gonna roam around as well. Uh, he, they tippied up to the top lane, put that ward down real quick, and now he's gonna walk all the way back down bottom where they put yet another the ward. Not sure if this blocks the camp. I think it might. I'm not 100% sure. It might actually just be out of the range. I'm not sure what the spawn box is. Back towards that top rune spot, Monkey's Forever gonna get in very early battle. He's gonna have two tangos shared, a fairy fire, two of them in fact. He'll try to get to the bouncy, which will get him up to about 500 gold. And that'll put him even closer to his bottle. And then from there, you go for Boots of Speed, the maybe into an early begins. blink or tranquils, then into the blink. But uh, the earlier this blink is picked up, the better of a chance they have to win. However, Monkey's had a six minute blink dagger the other day, yesterday in fact, I think. And they still, no, it was actually two days ago. And they still got absolutely trounced. He had a six minute blink dagger, like a 15 minute tranquil blink for staff. And somehow they still lost that game. I'm kind of interested to see this matchup between both him as well as Limp. The damage coming up for the Batrider, not great, but that's why you go for the sticky napalm for first and get yourself some extra damage going your way. But already the Dragon Slave will come through and it'll be a nuisance and get a last stick coming out for Limp in that mid lane. Bear's gonna get last hit down. It's gonna get to not actually, so that's some gold not going the way of jail where he would have liked it. The aggro dueling with the beast master spirit breaker seems a little bit scary, but there's a bane here on your side, so you can nightmare if need be. And of course, and take the claws later on down the road will be nice to pick up as well. And Swindles is doing a good job denying. They have this warded. Pole will miss, I believe. He might have stacked it. I'm not sure. It looks like he was trying to stack it, and Z Freak just stood in the spawn box. He actually will take a brain sap. He's pretty tanky, though, and Fluff will continue to try to right click him down. He does have a stout shield, so somehow Z Freak has the money for that. Now, top lane. The Enchantress is actually probably going to give Chase some trouble here. You can already see he's backing up, and this is a hero that Complexity did a lot of work with. It was Swindle who was playing it, but they still Darkness actually destroyed. And you can see they're looking for an ensnare. They won't be able to find it, though. I'm not sure where they're going. They're going to stop the pull. The Star Troll Summoner has it. He's ready to go. There's the Decay flying out. The Frostbite will and maybe can deny this creep, and nope, no case there. That's sad. Back to the mid lane. Archon actually have a pretty good CS advantage here early on. Frostbite will go, it'll kill up another uh, one of those creeps, the Hellbear Smasher. This time it will actually not go to Complexity, as I think it might have went to a creep. Monkeys will pick up a haste room, that is dangerous to have. They'll pick up another point in um, Flame Break this time around, instead of going for that extra point in Firefly. With two stacks on Limp, he doesn't want to get to that third stack, and Monkeys is just running at him, and he's like, listen, I also found a shared tank over here, that's mine. I was on the high ground for some reason, I'm not sure why. Meanwhile, Chessie and Moo going toe-to-toe, -to -toe. there's the Decay flying out, and actually Moo is taking a lot of damage. Three stacks that close spray, it's very, very sketchy. The Salve will come out, he's still level two, but this is a very dangerous lane. Down bottom, most net worth in the game currently is now Swindle Mountains, or rather the most CS. So that's kind of dangerous. Swindle has owned so far in this tournament, and he's looking to add another win to his belt buckle. Uh, to his trophy case, what other cliche you'd like to use. Jesse up top, still trying to get some yeah. semblance of CS. He does have seven. The tenth of the Enchantress is coming out. The Enchantress at level two, Whitebeard at level four, so that's a problem. And he was sitting at level three. The experience is kind of all over the place this game. The flame break back, and 
Yep. This is gonna go, but the first blood goes, it wasn't worth it, he walked right into the LSA and Lip out plays him. Mucky's forever, my friend, that is not worth it, the first blood goes to Lena. She did lose that money right after she got it, so that's unfortunate, but at least some of it anyway. God, that sucks so bad for monkeys for walking into that ward, or to that LSA. Nobody's been except they're gonna TP it now. Gotcha. Lena have a TP scroll, she does, okay. There's the tombstone. They're thinking about dying here. They're gonna try to kill Chessie early on as possible. The charge is coming up though, and now Wiper taking some tower hits. He's got the health. There's the solar. Can he get the decay? He will get the kill, but he's still in trouble. The south one, he's gonna try to TP. This will not work out. The quill spray will grab the kill for Chessie. And this rotation coming out from Z Freak will be nothing, uh, you know, whatever. L stay on a fluff will push him back. It's level one L stay. I can't believe that killed him, by the way. The Dragon Slave was what did it in, but the LSA was the, the big factor. And actually, the HC last hits for Limp, so he's now caught up. This game has gotten a lot easier here for complexity. Maybe not easier, but they're in a good spot. She might be in trouble. Charge bottom. They don't have four, but they do have level three. The bear used the Savage Roar poorly. He's got a Fairy Fire. That was a really bad Savage Roar. They get the Entangle. They get the Entangle. There's the Brain Sap. They get the kill. Can they get another one? Z Freak. Oh my god, the root. They're going to get two. He'll try to charge away. No, they won't get Z Freak. He's going to make it out just barely. What a lucky bastard. That should not have happened. <laughs> This enchant move somehow just doesn't have any real experience right now. He's actually tied with uh, that of the um, Eastmaster. So I guess that's not that bad. Maybe another entangle would be nice. By the beast. They have a ward there. Ellis is going to miss. Limp is going to have to try to juke that. that. Ward is not vision, apparently. And yeah, I don't see that. That's kind of funny. They might have seen that get placed, though. That's not even impetus damage. And Moo's gonna get charged up from back home as Z Freak is now coming in. He'll eat his way through. He's gonna see it with his Observer Ward potentially. Yeah, he saw it. They pinged it out. They know that he's coming. Bottom. Snare, rather the brain step being smurred. The nightmare, oh great micro, but still he might be in trouble. Body blocks, can they get there with a the bear? He doesn't have boots on the bear and the entangled proc will not go through. Where's your boots, J.O.? Get your boots before you get your iron down. Meanwhile, top lane, white beard, dragon slide comes through. There's gonna be the use to jib that Laguna play. White beard still staying alive. There's a centaur conqueror stuff. Can they get Chessie? He's gonna stick but stay alive. Just barely. Good rotation we went to help get that kill. It will give some room for Monkey's mid, and he's getting close to that blink dagger. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Okay, he's got boots on the bear now. Okay, that's good. That's fine. He's up to level six. Buff walked all the way around to put up this very deep observer ward to see if there's any charges coming in or TP to the tier two tower. They won't have vision up here at the tier one tower, so they won't see if the TP comes through here, which is very, very important, I think, but that's just me. Moon now sitting still at Treads, almost level 6. Didn't go down there, but he did lose Whitebeard, his partner in crime. There is a stack here that is Monkey's Forever getting himself probably a Blink Dagger here pretty soon with this bad boy. Look at this, up to 1800, 1900. He's getting up to Blink Dagger at 7.5 minutes. Maybe a little bit later. He doesn't have Firefly now. He has to actually have to just last hit in lane, but he really can't afford to die. Top lane. Whitebeard sitting behind the tree line. Can they get this kill? He enchants a Siege Creep. That's kind of interesting. Decay will go, and Chessie now with two stacks gone, he's up to only 731 HP, but with, of course, the bristle back, he's a little bit tankier than that. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Ooh, this tower is so low. It just attended, the and they get the denies. The siege creep went through, and Moon gets the last hit. Well played, attack. sir. Now he does have his... It's us up and ready, but here's the charge. They all have to back, back away. Do they get vision of this? 
This doesn't matter. I don't know if they're gonna make it out in time. Moody's in trouble. No more nature's attendance. And actually, they won't die if they They say no. I don't think so. Z Freak might have gotten there in time, but he said no. Maybe let's don't do that. They've got the Batrider, Blink Lasso, and now Swindle. This will be a free kill. And as the Blink does come out, and of course the good old smoke maneuver that you see every time the Blink has been revealed, and this will probably result in a tier one tower as well in this bottom lane. Arcana are doing a great job right now. Complexity. And look at a little in awe. They they have to deal with the Enchantress. The only farm hero on their team currently is going to be the Lena. Chessie's actually got nothing. No early vanguard for you, sir. That tower is going to fall, and Jay will now have to get to 1,600 gold. If you wanted a Midas recipe, you could have bought it, and I don't think that's going to be the case. There is an ancient stack here, though, and this is going to be what gets Chessie back in the game is this bad boy right there. They're also going to see Hanskin going ahead and taking a stack or two. Whitebeard, no ward. Mid lane. Blink Lasso is still on cooldown for another 35 seconds, and Lip. A gank on him would be much needed for Archon at this point. They have a net worth advantage of 2,000, so a great start so far for them. The Lone Druid, he's going to be tough to deal with if he gets an early Radiance, and it looks like he'll get that Relic at 15, maybe earlier. No smoke from Whitebeard and Fluff. There is an Observer Ward here still, which will give them great vision for Team Complexity. The tower might be assaulted next, but no Lone Druid here nearby. Instead, he's just going to go ahead and stack up and continue to farm. Monkeys will have Lasso now and a haste ring too, so he could get the Lasso he can pull back rather quickly. And the threat of the Lasso Dyer's is very dangerous. Tower. They might drop the Tombstone, like you thought about it. is going to miss, but it'll go on to the Creep Wave instead. TP now coming through as well. It's not the greatest fight, I think. They do see Ch Chessie Radiant's come through, and they're going to hightail it out of there attack. now. Who's looking for an enchant potentially to slow things down. Soul Rip comes out. Frost Armor is up as well now into Whitebeard. I have Tombstone. It's all two. And uh, while this is happening, Jay is just farming up. He says, yeah, that's fine. Hoskins trying to get him to level six with the Frostbite. He's done a great job, I think, getting back into this. I mean, in terms of levels. Because the Bane, Bane is level six now. He's got the Inscript. They can just go on Chessie right now. Nightmare will go first. If they roared up, then that would have been a problem. But a pretty good boar uh, juggle there. Meanwhile, charge in. There's the Savage Roar from J.O. and he actually just should probably back away, but here comes the reinforcements as they're looking for Swindle. The boar was enchanted, and if they get that tick off on Swindle, they can chase him down, but now they'll find instead Chessie, who is completely out of the open. They'll try to charge into Fluff. It looks like Chessie... Oh my lord, that is not the best time for that. So let's see what's going to happen here. Swindle has Roar. They'll probably use it on the Enchantress, who's out in the front. The bear's going to start doing some damage here. Monkey's Forever has Lasso. Unless he can get that Lasso off onto Swindle, which I don't think is the case. Who do they kill here? Does Hans get his ult? He doesn't. And look how far away Limp is. So some, here's what's going to happen. Probably. Here's what's probably going to happen. Chessie's going to die, even though he has Vanguard. Fluff or Moo or both of them will go down. Is Nature's Attendance been used? It's still level 1, so the heal is not that great. Oh god, I don't know. Chessie doesn't need to get lasted. They should go on Swindles or Z Freak and maybe try to just avoid Limp. This does not look like a great fight for complexity, but I think actually these full sprays are doing a pretty good job. They've gotten everybody a little bit low. They could use a the tombstone is just placed down, by the way. I don't know where it was. Where's that tombstone? Where's the tombstone? Why can't I find it? It's like, oh, it's right there. Here we go. Oh, he does get his stick up. The war comes out. Fluff is actually told they're going to back away. Chessie should still fall. Here comes the Dragon Slaves. They get the Nightmare off. Jo's close to dead. They'll get two. They'll buy back now into the Bane as well. The LSA, they're going to keep chasing Z-Freak. He has charge and he's going to try to get out. He will make it, make it away. But they get the last one to Swindle. And here we go. They'll find another kill. It's three dead. Three for one exchange. The only one going down is the Bane. And somehow, Jo lives through all that. Gets into 2.4k. I'm sure Bane loses some money, but look at the Batrider. Monkeys again. Gets back into the game and now has, I think, a, almost a full four staff here. And they're going to try to take this this tier 2 tower, this tier 1 tower on top of it. Attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack.
And that will provide the drum coming out for Moo and crew. Two point seven K, so the relic not quite there yet. One K away. The bear's gonna get resummoned back towards that top lane where they'll see Swindle is farming up and trying to get to his necro book level one. Not there yet, even with the good start that he had. The hawk will scout this out and get killed quickly. Yule is now picked up for Lena. That might be a game-changing item. We'll see if they go for smoke with it, like they did with the bat rider on the opposite side of the map. 2.9k. Maybe they go for Fiend's Grip play here onto the Beastmaster, but he knows what's up. So I swear to God, dude. Oh, no, he saw he had the Hawk here. Okay, I was like, this game sense is unreal, this entire series. That is true, even with that Hawk being there, but... Uh-oh, Laguna fluffs too deep in. This ward is probably going to get countered as well, and Limp will find a big pickup with the Eagles combo. They do know that J.O. is here. They have been pinging him as they have, of course, this hawk nearby, which gives them just enough vision. At least they saw him, I think, here. And they see him now. He's going to try to TP out, and he'll make it. Nobody nearby. Lead bottom is dead. Rahanskin is going to get his level 6. So now, the ultimate is good to go. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Tower is under attack. They've got that forest Radiance staff now. Bottom tower is under attack. Swindle might be the target they're looking for. He's he's they can kill him easily. Who's been spotted? They oh, they have the hawk right there. Again, great vision coming out. This beastmaster is putting in work. No necrobook one still, but I mean, Radiant's the hawk is keeping them alive really in a lot of these fights. And down bottom, Zero Tower might get assaulted. TP in a couple of the tier two. They're gonna smoke one up. They have the relic now, Jay. By the way, bottom tower is under any more TPs in? Looks like they might be coming. Here we go. There's gonna be one right now. He's going to drop up the tombstone. It's a bit of lag right there, as you can clearly see. Some bad micro. They'll catch it down Hanske. They're going to pull him towards the group, and Hanske will go down at the right click of the bear. Now the HA comes out. They'll find the feeds group on the left. He pops it full of freaking Laguna, but it doesn't do that much. And Mookie's is going to just barely survive. The cool spray will not go, and the triple kill comes down for J.O. And the only one alive is going to be Zeep. They can't, with a freaking, they can't actually get him with the Nightmare, so... Let's instead pick up some of these Necro units, Moo enchant them, and Jail, how much gold does he have now? He has his Radiant, sir. And I'll continue to push down bottom. And there it is. Radiant's recipe is about to fly out, and this tier 2, it'll take damage, I don't know if it'll fall. They have the Necro Warrior here. That butterfly just flew right over my screen. That freaks me out. They'll actually pop the drum charge and peace out. They do not want to have to deal with it. And Hanskin is going to just sit here and look for a Crystal Nova instead. Bane is looking at the bottom rune spot, but it was just taken. It's a double damage route for Monkeys, who's got his lasso back up in 13 seconds. And so now a farm Batrider will finally looks like have a great game, and his team will be behind him 100%, whereas in the other game... DC could not deal with the Batrider, but the rest of the team, they could. The Radiance is done. The Bear will probably get Vlad's or AC next, one of the two. Mu has the beginnings of a Dragonlance after a drum charge. Dyer's this is Smoke of the Sea Kank. It is not. They have Vision coming up from the Kobold Foreman, and now Mu is like, it's time Radiance to peace out. I'll see you later. Hawk Vision attack. coming through. They have just enough to spot Radiance out Mu, who's actually heading towards that bottom rune spot. And they'll Dyer's take that tier one tower, but now that means that the rest of 
Archon will push through mid, with the exception of White Fury. They have Blink Lasso. Can they find it? Blink Break back. There's the Forest, and they actually are going to get Seed Freak. They'll pull him away. There's the Phoenix Grip, and he will not be able to charge out. That's a dead Seed Freak. Big kill for J.O. Another kill going his way, and that'll give him back up to 800 gold. They have to just keep up that Radiance. Not only that, but the Tier 2 Tower mid is going to fall. But they lose their tier two, they'll lose their Tier 2 Tower bottom. So we'll try to TP back home. Uh, are Archon going to keep going? Fallen. I think they could. They're going to go for the top tier, too. I think that's fine. Ratings burn from the barrel. Keep fallen. the entire team heading into their base. And all the outer towers are going to get focused down by Archon now. Crimson Guard is done for the first back, and he needs it. Hell, he's died a couple of times when he really shouldn't have. It's actually going to get two deaths, but. Still, very squishy team. This complexity Dyer's side is they have Alina, they have a freaking Crystal Main. Beast Smash is kind of tanky, but maybe not that much. Only a thousand HP, to be fifteen hundred of Chessy. But again, he does have the main guard, so he gets like an extra two fifty health on top of that. Whereas you only get the belt of strength coming up from the Necro Book, and it's not that much strength. It's eight. Oh, uh -oh. Nightmare comes through, and they might be forced to fight this. They have no lasso. It's up at six. There's gonna be the Tombstone drop. They can try to turn this around. They're gonna to try to focus it. Z Freak in trouble. Nether Strike will fly. Tombstone's still up and ready to go. They'll finally bring it down, but boom, they already killed Alina. The Freezing Field will go through, but look at that damage coming up from Mu as well. And Chessie is gonna get chased down. This is not good. Three dead, four dead all day. And Archon are, are just running, praying over complexity right now. Swind to Melons. He's gonna get caught next. Jay looking to catch him out. Flame Break push back. Only to the side, but it still is gonna be enough damage. And that is all five dead. Archon. They looked terrible in that second game, but here in game number three, they are ready to go, baby. They're fired up. And they're gonna take down the second tier two tower of the game. Probably back up, buy some uh, set in the next set of items, and just get the hell out. TP back home, and nobody's able to chase them down. Z Freak back in the base could have charged, but obviously would have been too far away. Mookie's Forever is going to be going and going ahead and grabbing that boots of travel next, more than likely. Fluff has 1789 gold. Get that freaking Aether Lens, which, by the way, the Batrider just got sick. I'm a huge fan of that item. The lasso range is so nice now with that Aether Lens. I'll show you when it comes out. They also get a point picture for Mu. And Dragon Lance is done. The beginnings of an Agative Scepter is next. The range with that is absurd. So now if we look at the gold graph, it is a 7,500 net worth advantage. The 7,500 experience advantage as well. The Vlad's done as predicted coming out for J.O. So some extra armor going their way as well as HP regen and lifesteal. The Dragon Lance and Point Booster flying out to Mu. And really just... The biggest problem is that, that Complexity have just lost too many fights in a row. And Limp, he's off to a good start, but he's just going to have his Shadow Blade and Yules. And Radiant's even that is, it's actually is pretty good when you think about it, but still. He's the only one really doing well besides sort of Chessy on Complexity squad. So Chessy will just, in a way to try to catch back up, he'll go ahead and just turn his back to this uh, Ancient Stack and just take it down very quickly, actually. Oh, my back. I just had surgery on my back and it's not feeling great for some reason. Oh well. Not while I'm around. And here we go, the last outer tower is gonna be assaulted and Archon will go ahead and look for this. And they can also try to get Roche afterwards if they can maybe find a pick or two. There's that Shadow Blade. Bane will come mid, or rather from mid towards the album lane, and mid might be taken here. This tier one, Chessie's gonna walk up to the high ground and just go ahead and do some work on this tower. The kind of bear's gonna continue to push top and then finally relocate towards that bottom Dyer's lane. Bottom tower is under attack. And Jay is somehow only level 11, or 12 rather. I guess they've been five manning a lot. I think experience-wise, they're not actually doing that well. It feels like they should be a lot higher in experience, but apparently everyone's around this level for some reason. Dyer's bottom tower. The lone Drew is his CP as he realized, oh, it's time to Roche. I got you. Somebody has a buckler, so almost a full mech already. I'm dying. They don't see any ward there. They actually got the hawk. I just do not think that City try to defend this. And it looks like you can't. And I don't think Archon are very worried. They have this ward here, and they're like, well, Swindle's farming, so I'm sure we're fine. 
Who's the edge going to go for? Teo? The most likely candidate? Indeed. Now, on top of all that, he's got 1800 gold. They put the chain wheel up onto the bear. And so it's just going to be the rest of the three components for that Assault Kiros next. And with that item, they could push higher. I don't think they'll push it earlier than that, though. I think they're going to wait. And they're going to go ahead and uh, get the Assault Kiros and go from there. The Shadow Blade was seen. They see that Limp is here. He's going to grab the Invis Rune as well. They do not see that, however. 1500 gold for Agonims to be completed for Moo. Just missed a couple of last hits, but that's fine. It actually does so much damage without even having his impetus used. Uh oh. Last of top lane, Zephyr's gonna get caught. Now there's gonna be the impetus, and it almost kills him. Oh, uh, and then the Radiance Burst kills him at the end there. That's so unfortunate. And Limp is gonna just walk away as well. He might can try to go on J.O., but he does have the Aegis. If he does, it's kind of sketchy. Uh-oh, this is an easy kill. Oh, he thought about it, and he didn't go for it. He turned around, it's like, I can get this kill. Ah, uh, maybe not. And Fluff does not know how close he came to dying. Actually, he has a Hood of Defiance. Just kidding, he's probably fine. He's gonna have a pipe next, too. Oh, the good old creep cutting with the Lone Druid Spirit Bear with Radiance. It's like, Limp's like, you gotta be joking me. He has, like, no creeps now. He could try to take this tier one tower, but he's gonna have to TP back home. Radiance top tower is under and attack. the spirit bear will continue to push in. Radiance structures are fortified. Radiance top tower has They fought. get the hyperstone and AC is very close to About two to three thousand. Structures are fortified. Tombstone is dropped, and with the Aegis, Jay will go to work on the high ground. Clear out the cliff quickly, and jump in to find Swindles with the last of the forest out. And that is a dead Swindles. He does have five, but he might have to use it here. Put the Frostbite up onto the bear, and it'll do some work at the bear. Uh-oh, they get the piece now, a chance to get a flame break back. And this damage is coming through, can, can they get this kill, they get the Crimson Guard off. And Lip and Chessie are just getting burned alive by that Radiance burn. They'll lose the bear, they have a re and they pop it up. The tier 3 tower now gone. They had to buy back on the Beast Vessel. War is now a chance to step to 45 with no buyback. Jay will go to work still with that Aegis in tow. If he does die, he'll lose that bear for 110, so that's not great. But mid racks will fall. They'll push top. First racks of the game goes to Archon, and it's just these heroes are too good right now. Enchantress, as well as Lone Druid. I think uh, the Radiance Death Prophet is bad. And, is under well, I think again, man. These are the real bad heroes. Send the bear down to... Oh, you could TP the... Oh, that's not what I want to do. You could TP the bear now? I forgot about that. And he just literally just TPs the bear, and he just resummons it. That's actually super sick. So he'll probably wait one more wave before... Oh, just kidding. He's going to bring it back up immediately. That's funny. Ags is now done for move. He can sit back here. He can sit back here and just right click from afar. Here we go, they're gonna charge in. Tombstone's meant to drop down. Swindles taking a lot of hits. The mischance is gonna be there, but Zephyr gets entangled and he's gonna fall. They get the tombstone heal up. The lasso comes back and Lip is in trouble. He's dead. He's gonna have to buy that. I can that is it. Uh, Jeez, she is called. The complexity is too far behind. And Archon tries to lead. Move ahead and they'll be facing up against Digital Chaos here. In the winner's bracket finals, and one of those two teams will move on to the major. Beautifully done from Archon in both games one and three. They had a struggle in game number two, but they came back into their own and were able to secure their victory.